I'm going to paint this beat up old bass guitar with a paint scheme inspired by the armor of my favorite Star Wars character, Boba Fett. Let's start by taking this thing apart. This base didn't come with a pick guard, so I designed one for it. I'll cut it out of plastic and paint it. I need to sand down the gloss finish over the entire guitar so that I can add a coat of primer. I now have a base coat of metallic silver over the whole guitar. This paint job is going to have two layers of different colors. For this next step, I'm going to need a simple household item. My friends here will tell you about it. When Cutie Katie makes a scene, she wears a smile brush three ways clean. Cleaner breath, cleaner face, cleaner teeth, three ways clean is called gate clean. When handsome Harry joins the session, he makes a real cool three-way impression. Cleaner breath, cleaner taste, cleaner teeth, three-ways clean is Colgate Clean. That's right, toothpaste. This is not a sponsored video. We are not going to use it in the traditional way. What we are going to do with it is to dab small amounts on certain areas to act as a masking agent. This will prevent the next coat of paint from sticking to these areas, creating a paint chipping effect. I'm going to apply the paste to the body and neck, putting it on places I think the paint would chip off over many years of use.
sprayed yellow paint on all the areas that I had toothpaste. You could see it under the paint. It leaves a bit of a texture. Here is the neck that I have sprayed green. You can see I've applied paste to the areas where I believe that the neck would get damaged over time. Here comes the fun part. Using a damp towel, I wipe away the areas where the toothpaste is and carefully remove it. This only removes the paint in that spot, revealing the silver underneath. Here you can clearly see the paint chipping effect. I then go around and carefully clean off the rest of the toothpaste from the body and the neck of the guitar to reveal all the silver underneath. This is liquid latex masking fluid. It's used for masking small irregular shaped areas in model building. I'm using this latex masking fluid for this next step because it allows more control as to where you can place it. Toothpaste would work if you didn't have this but the stickiness of the paste makes it very difficult to position the mask accurately. So I like this stuff better. You can see that I've placed the latex and masking fluid over all the battle damaged areas and areas where I want chipping to occur to show off the double layer paint job. The latex is now dry enough to add the green top coat of paint. I could not find the shade of green in an over-the-counter spray can to match Boba Fett's armor, so I had to mix my own in acrylics and then use an airbrush to apply it. This took a while, but in the end I believe the result was worth it. green paint is dry and it's time to remove the latex masking fluid and reveal all the paint chipping and the battle damage. You can really see how great the two layer paint chipping came out. It really does look like Boba Fett's armor.
I used a laser cutter to make paint masks from a sheet of mylar. These are all the markings and symbols on Boba Fett's armor that I'm going to paint onto the body of the guitar for that next level look. Here is one of the large skulls I'm going to paint onto the back of the guitar. I masked off an area and used more latex masking for this chipping effect. I'm using an airbrush to put down the white background for this layer. Once it's dry, you can remove the mask and the latex masking. I applied the skull mask using a low tack spray adhesive so that it can be removed without a residue left behind. Then I painted it red. This recreates the symbol on Boba's shoulder armor. This montage will show me painting a small skull, a chest emblem, and the kill stripes that Boba displays on his armor. All of this is going to be on the front of the base.
The paint job is done, and I coated the whole thing with a satin clear coat. I didn't film that. I really like how the battle damage and the paint chipping look. I also didn't film me painting the pick guards, because again, it gets a little repetitive. Let's get this thing put together. Cue the montage. This is the way. I gotta learn another song.